Okay, hi guys. This is is how to how to make a a airship part two. So all, yeah, as you can see, he, the only changes in my infantry are uh, I've got rid of all the wood I needed I had before, uh, and I've made some more fence. Okay, a, this is all you'll need. You'll need 64 wooden planks. If you want to add these dispenser arrows and buttons you can and you definitely need wool okay so what we're gonna do is go up the ladder you made in the previous episode okay and then about halfway about a quarter of the way down um, from the bottom so you've got like there okay and you're gonna have those I'm oh, sorry wrong spot don't worry, I'm going to have fences going all the way around this anyway. So, yeah. So, what we're going to do now is... that's This is what is eventually going to hold up your balloon. Or hold your, your balloon to your boat. Because otherwise it's just a floating boat. Okay. So, I'm just going to have this three high... So four high. So I'd right. So all you have to do is put a block down, go on top of your fence, and jump up three. Okay. Oh. As I've shown. Okay. Oh. Okay. So this is as high as you're going to need the fences. So you can actually now just. Waste the fence. Well, not waste. Oh. Put fences around the edge. If you got it going, uh, a you, so you your docks straight attached to, str straight to the front of your boat, to, to the deck of your boat. Sorry, you're gonna need to you n leave a gap for you to get on and off. But yeah, as I'm getting into my hull, this will be fine. Okay, so you've got. You're fencing around, you've got the stuff to moor your balloon down, okay? And now I just pulled all this, the wool up. So what you're going to do now is just hop up here. And depending on what you want your bottom layer of it to be, I'm having purple. Just because it's the first colour I've got, okay? So you're going to hold shift and just bring it across to each of the pillars. This isn't going to be your full balloon this is just to have a beginning to your balloon. The reason why you hold shift is so you can't fall off. Okay? Because your balloon really is actually going to be you know, twice the size of this. I'm just making a shape of it. Okay? So yeah, now you've got that nice square shape you're going to go to the back of your boat and you're going to take it back sorry guys I fell off or um, I'm actually going to get rid of all this wool in a minute okay and so as I was saying you're going to take it back you're going to carry on holding shift and you're going to take it back around about five so it's just so my, see my boat mine it's just over just over the back and then you're gonna hook it up with the rest of the balloon okay so you've got that nice lovely shape now okay if you want to you can start putting the bottom of your boat in already I tend to do that after I've had the shape okay as as we did at, for your boat You've got to have this, so you're going to take it one in, one out, so it's the same kind of shape as your boat. So it's almost just slightly bigger than your boat, as you can see here. So one in, one add on length, one in. Okay, and then you've got the basic shape to your boat. So you can 
make your boat the shape this balloon different shapes you could have it like a hot, hot air balloon and I'm generally just having it the sh same shape as my boat just for convenience okay I may have to go and get some more wool but if we need to get more wool remember you'll need a lot of wool for this Okay, unlike the boat, it I've made you're gonna have to have layers. So this is gonna be the bottom layer for my balloon. Depending on texture packs, this could look really nice. But I'm not really using a really nice texture pack, and I'm just having a multicolored balloon to show you how to make one. I would have it nice colors I would have it all white or all blue or something but this is just to com of convenience my convenience to show you okay you can use any colors you don't have to use the colors I'm using okay so once you've got this you put one in a top corner and then you just take it up a layer and then you only do it like I am you don't touch so it's almost like if you've made a pyramid it's almost like making a pyramid okay so you have to have layers it's probably the second airship I've made so I'm not the most skilled person at doing this kind of thing so yeah you should do that again and you have a new, another layer. And then, if you wanted to, you could have a secret hatch inside the balloon. See, and now your balloon is almost like done. And I'm just going to get some of the go inside here get some more of this blue wool because I quite like this colour of blue just steal it from here so I'll hop I'll go I'm gonna go down and grab it I'll fix it in a minute okay so yeah you've and grab one of them okay so yeah and I've got that hang on you take out all these like little extra bits you've put on. You may have to go back out, out on top and get back onto your the balloon. Don't worry if this is the case because we're not here to really make it. You could be here to make it look really cool. So I'm here just to show you how to make the balloon. So there, you've got your balloon. Just pop that back there. And now you need to get now you jump onto your like ledgy bit you made earlier. That's why you need that. Okay, and you've got the balloon, you just need to get rid of that bit. And you need to get rid of any of the bits you used to get on top of your balloon. So I'm actually getting rid of oh, quite a lot of wool. So your balloon should be done about now. See, and you've got your balloon, and, and then you could have an extra, like, a captain's room here, or a storage room. I'm just going to stick fencing around this, because I prefer, if I was a captain, I'd prefer to sleep inside the boat. Okay, now we're going to do decoration. Okay, so you're going to go into the hull and cut out a small hole. It's like one a one block hole. Now you're going to put all your wool back up into your in bag inventory, and you can bring down the arrows, dispensers, and only this is optional, by the way. This bit, okay.
So depending on how big your boat is, I'm just going to have three on each side of these. You may have to make another platform, like I'm going to have to, like this. So you should get some, bring down your wood I was telling you about earlier that you might need. It comes in useful to have spare equipment. So it started raining. Okay, yeah, and then you just add the little dispensers in. You have to do this on both sides. I'm only going to do it on one side just to show you. But you'd have to have it, to make it look good, you'd have to have it symmetrical, both sides. So I'm just going to make holes where you'd have it. So you'd have it here. One here. Whoa, nearly fell down here. Oh. Put that back. Okay, and then you'd have one here. Yeah? And then you put your buttons just below or beside. I tend, to, I'll I'll stick them to the side, right? So you can see. And then one here, okay. And you can load your arrows in. You can, that's why I only bought three loads of arrows. And you can push the button and it fires them. And this is the end. This is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.